Howdy, everyone. Welcome back to Mad Cardigan. I'm going to be starting a new playthrough today. Obviously, uh, most of you recognize this game. It's Fallout 4. I'm going to be basing this character on another of my granddaughters, uh, the lovely Hadley. Alright, so let's get this started. Be playing most of this game, switching back and forth between first and third person, uh, just uh, you know for convenience sake. Um, we like the story in these. Like I said, it's very, very talented people made these games, and I like to let them tell their stories. So I won't talk over the cutscenes as best I can, uh, but I will be commenting throughout. So let's go ahead and get into this. Ah, let's see morning, what's happening in our house. Your coffee, 173 good morning. Five degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. Thanks, Codsworth. Codsworth. Comic book here, Grognak. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> let's have a look around, shall we? Oh, okay. American flag. Little backstory about Hadley. Uh, completely fictional, of course, since uh, not even a teenager yet. <laughs> I can see this child's going to interrupt everything I say. I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Oh, me too. Robot with a jet carrying to my baby. Ooh, a law diploma, okay. Also, there are troops stationed overseas or experiencing some unusual weather as well. We'll assume I was a soldier. Uh, the American flag's for me, and the uh, law diploma's for the husband. For this story, anyway. What do you know? Someone's at the door. Uh, it's that salesman again. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. Okay, I'll see what he wants. Probably encyclopedia salesman. Good morning, Voltec calling. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Then I'm glad I opened the door. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. I know what you're thinking. This name will be explained in the next few moments once we get into her backstory. As far as I know, she has no unusual love for hammers in real life. Strength. She's a strong girl. Anybody who's played this game will know your charisma should always be at least a three. Agility is also quite important. Uh, that looks pretty good. 
just go ahead and uh, give one more there. We can always uh, fiddle with these in a little while. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Uh, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Miss Hammer, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second off, okay? Well, if there's anyone good at maternal affection, it's the hammer. Now, before we start playing with him, let's see if we can't get a little backstory out of the way. Okay, like I was saying, after school, after she graduated, uh, Hadley joined the National Guard, uh, served with distinction, and then the uh, the great riots of uh, Fort Lauderdale Spring Break happened. Now, she fought bravely in that battle and was awarded the uh, Purple Heart. She was injured by a flying beach chair. After the discharge from the military, she wandered from job to job, uh, mostly construction, where she specialized in uh, demoing outdoor sitting areas. After a few of those jobs, she kept getting fired for excessive use of force. She found her dream job outside of Boston at the uh, Donald's uh, Distribution Center, let's call it that. Her childhood love was French fries, mostly like mine is, and uh, that was where she wanted to be. Until uh, the fateful day that the Distribution Center was uh, attacked by a gang of bikers who were on a uh, bike rally. Uh, most of her coworkers were killed, but she survived with their hammering skills, of course. She then met the love of her life, Nate, who, by you can tell by his law degree, was a personal injury lawyer who handled the case for McDonald's. And uh, as they say, the rest is history. And so let's get back into the story now. Speaking of uh, our sitting areas, seriously, this is already triggering her. Do we have any french fries? In the fridge. Okay, we have salad respect. Sean requires your personal attention. A little motherly love to quiet the nerves. Oh, this is a nag bot. Okay, we gotcha. All right, no French fries. So, outdoor furniture and no French fries. It's a great start to this game. Throughout her life, she has. Many things she loves and many things she hates. Things she loves. French fries, obviously. All animals. And her baby. Things she's not fond of. Because of the bikers. All people with mohawks. And outdoor furniture. This will factor heavily into her character. So pay attention as we go along. Now let's go see this damn baby. His name is not Sean. It's Keyshawn. My boy is there. There, Keyshawn. Trouble is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? You fixed this? That's my boy on his best behavior, mm -hmm. just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. I think uh, she would respond with a uh, sarcastic remark. Oh, right. The park. With you. Because I want to get pregnant again. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Not to mention all the outdoor furniture that there is in the park. It's sensitive. Followed by, yes, followed by flashes of 
This, by the way, was an anniversary present. Explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. Careful with Keith Jones. Lost contact with these stations. Oh no. We do. We do have. We do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. With a lack of French fries, that's the second worst thing that's happened today. We need to get to the vault. Now! I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 1. We have a perfectly good car right here. The famous Verde Birds. Love them. Leave the children behind. If you're in the vault program, head to the gate. That's absurd. I am Not on the list. Tech. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop Sir. me. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay. I'm reporting. He would think in his benefits package he would if get into the vault. If you're in the program, the step forward. Otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Hmm. Good luck, sir. You two, follow me. Come on. Us, What's hey. going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. This looks completely safe. Almost there. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Oh, duck. Hold on! Can't this thing move faster? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ooh. Close one. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, Mrs. Please Whitfield, step off the Mr. Elevator Whitfield. and proceed up the Mrs. stairs Abel, in order Mr. Abel. Fashion. No need to worry, folks. Mr. Russell. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Somebody left their wife behind. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... You say so. Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. We left. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, Wait, don't. Just don't get me wrong about that. Please, this is good. Step over to the table, take a seat. Just step over to the table. Okay, welcome. Pick up a seat Thanks. right over there. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. This way, please. It's See? down the hallway right there. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Right over Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Good. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father died. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Good fit. Just checking everyone off the list as they come in. to be fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. It'll be okay. Mommy's right here. See? Honey, could you help me? Who is my little guy, huh? There, there, Keyshawn. I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There she is, see? Mommy's not going far. All set? The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. 
Procedure complete. In five. in with guns drawn, huh? Is it over? Are we okay? Almost. Everything's going to be fine. guy I dated during my expendables phase. Mr. Christmas, I'm seeing you again. did this and I'll get Sean back I promise he is dead you don't have to act it up tell you the truth he was an ambulance chaser it's all about fries and my baby First animal. Look at that puppy. All right. Little baton. Uh, for the sake of smooth gameplay, I'm not going to go through every single box and loot, which is part of this game's charm, but it does uh, slow it down a bit. So, which was another reason that I, uh, I chose uh, the hammer for Hadley. Uh, we're gonna. Do this mostly as a melee when we can. It also cuts down on a lot of the looting. Whoop, puppy. Bad dog. <laughs> Giant roaches. Animal life's pretty aggressive what? around here. Puppies. Yeah, red roach me up. So. Oh. You got me. Water in the vaults. Oh. Where did you come from? Many times I've played this, I don't think I've ever missed that one. Easy way to fill up your uh, your health. It's clean water in the vaults. Pro tip. Not really. We'll take guns and ammo 
Uh, even if you don't use a whole lot of the ammo, it's good for currency and other things like that. Right. I want to get out of here. There we go. Use this mostly when we can. The cry later. Most people don't have a master lock skill, but you can come back and get this thing if you want to. Uh, not the greatest weapon in my experience but it's a unique some people hunt those bobby pins always important looting is more important at the beginning of the game you know just to get your base and i'm coming and swinging oh, he's everywhere puppy oh Classic pit boy. Even looks like me. I don't have a pip girl. Okay. So this shows you your inventory, what you're fighting with, what you're wearing, uh, your little medicines, miscellaneous junk, mods and ammo, uh, data. That uh, shows your quests. Regular stats that'll grow as you play. Uh, the map. This is uh, around the uh, Boston area. It's called the Commonwealth. Uh, it's a pretty big map, not as big as Skyrim, but uh, I don't I don't believe it is. Uh, but it's very very densely packed. So uh, the radio we won't be using. Obviously, you don't uh, want to get copyrighted in these games. Uh, okay. Now at the bottom right, if you hit Y, you can see the perk chart, which is very important in this game. We don't have any uh, points to spend yet, but uh, most people who play this game are familiar with the specials. Uh, however many uh, points you have in a specific um, uh, stat here uh, unlocks the level at which you can spend points. So like I have nine strength points, I can go up to the ninth level of um, uh, strength and pick that, uh, or pick that perk, I guess you'd call it. And uh, most perks have multiple levels. You can see by the stars indicated under the name. And so most are locked behind uh, uh, a level up. Okay. So, just to make sure, because you can edit your points before you leave the vault, in case you're not happy with what you have. Okay. All of these seem to be good. I'm not a huge power armor guy, so... Hadley's not going to be uh, doing the power armor thing. She might try it out, you know, here or there, especially when we get to the glowing sea. But otherwise, we're going to stick with uh, just being a melee character. Okay, so charisma, lone wander, always a great thing to have. Uh, because we're doing melee, we won't need a lot of crafting. Um, crafting of the weapons and things like that, so... Uh, agility, also important for melee, uh, because in VATS, one more point into this, we can have Blitz, which is a very powerful, allowing you to attack melee uh, from a pretty good distance. Has other useful stats in it as well. And in Luck, uh, Idiot Savant, um, unkindly named, obviously, but uh, it's a very important thing to have. Uh, it can give you great experience just randomly. And uh, the lower your intelligence score, the higher chance there is of this triggering. So 
Some people say it's better to have more intelligence than just get the baseline, uh, but this thing can be leveled up to you know five times the experience. So I, I'd say that's you know pretty pretty good thing. And uh, since we don't need the intelligence for most of these stats, not playing a intelligence, not playing a sciencey character. Uh, Hadley is very smart, but uh, in my playthrough, she's just going to beat people up with a hammer. So let's go ahead and get this going. Because she don't take no mess. Good old animation for opening the vault doors. Very cool. This thing was looked brand new the last time I saw it. Time has passed. Uh, okay, so this is where you can edit most everything about your character before you leave the vault. Um, but I'm happy with everything. We, we might change uh, her appearance as we go along. You know, she gets in some pretty good scraps. You know, I'm sure I'm going to die many times in this game and have to reload. So uh, we'll add scars and you know and actual injuries to her just to just for the the fun of it. Okay. Not wishing to hurt my dear Hadley, you know, but uh, for the sake of the game, it makes it a little more fun. Okay, let's go ahead and get out of here. All right, game, don't piss me off. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. So bright out here. Oh, the beautiful skyline of Boston. Oh, it doesn't look that bad. All right. Let's go ahead and look around. Any of the any box, you know, of these type things, especially early in the game, it's always good. Get you some medicines. Most things are collectible. You can fill up really quick. I uh, don't need bone saws. Not a weapon, although it, you would think it would be. I'll take this game kind of slowly. You know, like I said, this is supposed to be a storytelling. You know, it has gameplay, but folks put a lot of a uh, lot of effort into it and. I'm going to let them show off their talents. Like the guy that made the traffic cones. I'm sure there was one guy that did all these. The skeleton guy. Okay, just because it says it wants me to. Sprinting affects your, your action points in the bottom right-hand corner. Health in the bottom left. Maybe your handy-dandy little waypoint. Back home. Oh, and there's faithful old Codsworth. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Codsworth, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. Well, of course I'm still here. 
Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? But you will see the worse for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is Sir, by the way? He's... He's... in a better place. A big oh, law firm in the sky. These terrible things. I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. t <laughs> Is Is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. And I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. Hmm? You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Cosworth, droll British humor. Okay, any uh, yellow option? Go ahead and take that. Uh, try out for speech checks. It's more XP. Cosworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I. I. Here we go. Uh, just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Stay All with right. me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this holotape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. I'll take all the help I can get. Handy dandy little baton. Hello. Quack. Fancy a bit of fisticuffs, do we? I'm supposed to be impressed. Oh, more animals. Ha. Ha. I believe I let this thing take care of my baby. Hmm. Nothing here but a few flies. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Life Go get him. Found you. Lug it off. What's all this then? Oh, look out. Boom. I was just getting warmed up. Codsworth's an exterminator. Miss Hammer. Extraordinaire. Your, your family isn't here either. They're really gone, aren't they? Thanks for trying, you. Codsworth. You can't give up, Mum. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Mm-hmm. 
Thanks for your help, Cotsworth. Good luck, Mum. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home front. You do that. Okay. Uh, you can turn these things into settlements. I'll just show you how you do that real quick. You find these little red benches here uh, and search it. And there you have it. Now, pretty much anything within an imaginary line, you see a green film in the background over there. Anything within that, you can tear down. You can build in this space. Uh, you get resources from tearing stuff down. Uh, it is a bit tedious. It's fun for uh, people who like to build, uh, but I'm not going to be getting into too much than that in this playthrough. I am uh, by no means a guru of this game. There are other YouTubers out there that are extremely talented when it comes to that stuff, so I'll leave it to them. Now, transferring storage-wise, these are very handy to have in your settlements, and you can fast travel back and forth to them, so... Uh, let's go ahead and store all our junk. Let's just lighten our load because there is a weight limit. So let's get the, rid of things we don't need. Let's hang on to all our melee weapons. Wedding ring. If I find a pawn shop, that'll be good. Uh, we have eyeglasses. Okay. All our meds. Miscellaneous. A few bullets. Okay. Only carrying eight pounds worth of stuff. That's not bad. can switch to other views. This, in some cases, oh, hold on now. I don't want to do that while I'm in town. Try to adjust the third person view. I know because I have ESP and I've never played this game before that a brooch will pop out right there. Yep, I knew it. And he still hit me. I knew he was coming. Oh, stomp him. Get him, Hadley. Mess with the hammer. Oh, now we have explosives. Okay, let's go ahead. All right. Okay, check most corpses. They'll normally have something that's uh, decent. Aha, tire iron. That may be even better than uh, the baton we're currently using. Uh, green bags always have ammunition, things like that in them. Okay, don't need a rifle. I'm gonna stick with that pistol. Pipe weaponry is generally the weakest stuff that you're gonna be able to find, so. Uh, let's go ahead and move out a little bit, adjust that. Let's go ahead and check our inventory and our weapons. And we can favorite these things, you know, just to, uh, on the D-pad, makes it a little bit easier. Okay, so that security baton does 20 damage and it has medium speed. 22 damage and medium speed, so let's go ahead and replace that, use that, drop that, and then we have a fast little switchblade here, just in case Hadley starts feeling a little stabby. And then in our aid, uh, Stimpaks were already there, Radix and Rataway are uh, generally things you need kind of often, so instead of having to go in and out of the pit boy, uh, let's go ahead and put those on the, the hot bar, so to speak. So now if you hit on the D-pad, you see how this can switch back and forth to you know, different things. Let's keep that tire iron out. Oh yeah. That is going to dent somebody. It's not quite the hammer, but, you know, Hadley the crowbar doesn't have the same ring to it. Oh, an actual puppy. Love hey dogs. Boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? Ah, you mutt. That's you rude. Come with me, pal. Okay then. I always take a German Shepherd. Let's stick together. 
roaches and flies running around pretending to be puppies. Okay. Don't really need the water. Not playing on survival mode where thirst becomes an issue. Oh. It is a small health item as well, but you'll find an abundance of stem packs in this game, so. What you want to show me, man? Uh, oh, more stem packs. Okay. Bobby pins. Okay. No new weapons there. And as you can tell, this is another settlement uh, that can be built, torn down and built. The, the main structure, you can't tear down like uh, some of the houses in Sanctuary, but most of the other material is uh, is good to go. Let's head towards the, uh, the waypoint. Uh-oh, two big bugs. Okay. Now, you get close enough, you have the VAT system. This is what the Pip-Boy allows you to do. Okay. And that 95 is the percent chance to hit them. Some guys, especially when I'm uh, when you're playing with uh, certain weapons and stuff, if they can be a pain to hit. Bugs are a big pain. Oh, oh sorry about that. Good dog. All right. That bug whacked me a couple of times on my, my hit point, so Let's start getting those going. Uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Thank you, dog. Oh, I was going to get that. Stealing my thunder already. What'd you do with it? You had a bat in your mouth. Hey. Uh, you can uh, trade with uh, any of your followers. Yeah, you don't need the baseball bat. Uh, you can dress them. You can arm them. You can give them orders, uh, have dialogues. They have their own special quests. I do like the followers. They are typical AI followers. They're not particularly useful. Um, it's often much better to uh, uh, to be a loner in this game. Uh, there are certain stats that are bumped for being alone. And fortunately, having the dog doesn't count as a follower. So you can still have those stats and have a dog, which is a plus all the way across the board. All right, I just picked up a bat. Baseball bat. Okay, so it's slow. More damage, though. Let's go ahead and stick that in the hot bar. So we'll have a fast, medium, and a slow weapon. You know what? I think baseball bat, we're getting into more of the spirit of the hammer here. Like a good sledgehammer later on. Hadley can do some damage. Uh oh, gunfire. Okay. First actual battle. Oh, fumble controls. Let's see, what have we here? Fun, huh? Stem pack. Okay, anything with a plus means it is um, more or a better piece of gear. Okay, so you look for that whenever you start looting things. I wonder how close I can get to this person. Loot on you better be worth it. Oh, whiff. That's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. Oh. It's even more embarrassing. Oh, somebody sees me. Love it. Oh, they, I'm in danger if they see me. I don't want to give him an order. Go do your thing, dog. Yep, get him, get him, get him. He's getting you. Yeah! Oh! Mm. Get it. Haha, <laughs> yeah. The settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us. Please. All right. This is our first quest. I believe we leveled up as well. Trouble with the door. There we go. Chest piece. Welding goggles, okay. Left arm, more welding goggles, okay. Anything interesting? There are a lot of welding goggles around here. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ooh. 
Ooh, a new hat. Okay. I'm going to keep on my vault suit for just a bit. Let's go ahead and check this gear real quick. Your apparel. Uh, click the left, left stick. I'm playing on Xbox. Um, we can sort it by damage just to see what is the best thing that, you know, you can have armor-wise. And you can see it's got damage resistance, energy resistance. There's all sorts of different things. Uh, just the more stuff you have on, generally the more protected you'll be. Okay. Eyeglasses will give us a little extra perception. More charisma. Okay. The welding goggles. Okay. Let's try the goggles. They'll probably look more interesting. Than the, uh... Oh, yes. Hadley's looking fabulous. Right off the bat. Hey. Oh, don't worry, dog. I've got something for you, too. Told you you could dress your followers. So let's give him one of the few things that he can wear and equip it. Awesome. Goggle dog. Okay. What we're going to do is call it a part here before I go in here and rescue all of these folks and uh, get into a whole other long drawn out battle. So, thank you so much for joining me, and uh, everyone be good and behave, and I will see you next time.